Anyone got any teenage daughters with all that MySpace shit? Right? They're whoring it up. I love it, though. All these girls are like, uh. I'm 15. I like to read. I'm suspicious, though. I'm like, is that really you? Do you work for Dateline? Because I don't want to fall for that again. I hate when that Chris Hansen shows up. I'm like, what's up, cockblock? Nobody gets laid when that motherfucker shows up. Nobody even tries. All right, all right, you got me. Can I fuck the 13 year old or no? Can I lick her while I'm waiting? <laughs> Plus, I, I live out in Queens, and these kids where I live, they, they're punks. They all got Tourette's from all the hip hop they listen to. They're always cursing at me. Like, what's up, motherfucker? What's up, motherfucker? I'm like, not too much. Can I get a quarter pounder? All right, supersize that motherfucker. I'm loving it. Do 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 do. Motherfuckers. I went to my first hip hop concert. Went to see Fifty Cent. He's hardcore in concerts. Like fuck white people. And we're like, yeah, fuck us. Put your hands in there. They stole my goddamn wallet. It's a scam. That hands in there. I'll put them up one at a time now. I no longer act as if I just don't care. I care a lot. <laughs> Every rapper has the same move. You ever notice that? That's to let you know they're being extra serious. That's a part someone should really pay attention to. It works. I use it myself. Like, put some butter on that bagel, bitch. She gets it right. She knows I'm not fucking around. I think other people should use it too. Like doctors, you got herpes, yo. Are you serious? I did this, didn't I? Get the fuck out of here. I'm the hip hop doctor. I will cut you, then I will stitch you up. <laughs> Stupid doctors. You watch these doctors? Are you pregnant, miss? Huh? No, she's sitting like she's holding a fucking. Are you, are you like nine months pregnant or something? I shouldn't have asked, because if you weren't, that's the end of the show. She's like, no, I'm just fucking fat. No, what? Holy shit, you're showing off. It's like you, they're the fattest fucking. Go look at them, stand up so they, they can show. You can. No, just so they can see what I'm seeing. How many months is that? Oh, you're nine? Well, you might. Holy shit, if you laugh too hard, I might just fucking scoot right out, right? No, I asked because my wife's pregnant now, which is fucked up, right? And I noticed you're eating the whole fucking show, you fat fuck. She's eating everyone else's food. She's gonna start eating this dude. Holy shit. My wife eats like an animal. She eats like a fucking Chris Farley runaway. I think that's why women get pregnant, right? You get to eat for two. You don't have your period for nine months. That's like a summer vacation, if you ask me. Plus, women say they're eating for two. They're getting 197 pounds. They have a three-pound baby. That was a close call, huh? I just made it. No, you made it by a lot. You're fucking fat. You could have, like, 19 babies. 19 tuplets or some shizzle. <laughs> How many is it? Seven months or something? Eight? Are you, are you, are you mad? Where's your husband? Huh? Yeah? What's he doing? No, so you know what's weird? When my wife got pregnant, I wanted to get other women pregnant. Like, I'm like, okay, I fucking mastered this game. Let me hook up something else, you know? <laughs> Guys are fucking crazy. That's what I'm saying. You still riding his ass? My wife gives me shit all the time. Seriously, we're walking down the street the other day she, in New York. She goes, look at all these porno magazines, all for men. I'm like, yeah, men like porno. We don't even like it. We need it. We have a different sex drive. Like, women have to be in a mood for sex. Guys are always in a mood. But that's good. One of us has got to be ready all the time. And it's us. We're like ninjas. So whenever you're ready, we're like, we're ready too. Let's do this. <laughs> My wife gives me shit. Like we're walking down. First of all, you know, women get mad about like the dumbest shit. Like, um, and plus my wife thinks I want to do the same things that she wants to do. I just pretend like I don't. I was watching a football game the other day. My wife said, like, you want to go to the Home Depot, look at paint samples? I'm like, not at all. She goes, you sure? I'm like, I'm fucking positive. <laughs> I've never been so sure about anything in my whole life as right now. Then right before Christmas, she calls me on the phone all out of breath. She goes, oh my God, don't buy any Christmas cards. I found the perfect ones. I'm like, I'll try not to. 
It's going to be hard, though. It's number two on my list after getting my pap smeared. <laughs> Find my pap and smear it. <laughs> Plus, my, we just had our first anniversary. We went out to this fancy restaurant. Women love fancy restaurants, don't they? What's with that? They're expensive. You get little portions of food. My wife's bragging to because it's classy when you get little portions of food. Really? So I gave him a little tip. I hope that's classy, too. <laughs> Then we got into a fight at dinner. She wanted to know how many women I had sex with before we got married. I'm like, how many women after? That's what you should focus on. <laughs> and her business. It's not her business. What I did before I got married. Fuck that noise. Plus, my wife likes to watch all these stupid shows, right? Like the reality shows and shit. The America's Next Top Model. Because you think our sports are stupid. At least you can bet on sports to jazz it up, right? Because betting really helps make things more interesting. You ever play blackjack for no money? You're like, 19, hit me. I don't give a shit. <laughs> but I say it's too bad you can't bet on other stuff to jazz it up, right? Like the weather, my wife's period, for instance, right? Because you're always sharing your period stories with her. Before she got pregnant, she was like, I stood on my period today. I'm like, that's good, right? I don't know if I'm supposed to be happy or sad. She goes, you don't even give a shit. I'm like, I would if I could bet on it. You started today, I bet tomorrow. How many tampons? Four had three in the under. You gotta control your flow, bitch. <laughs> Don't say that to a bleeding woman. My wife's Latino. Any Latina women here? My wife's hot blooded, too. See, I'm glad she's Latina, though, because I'm Irish, man. I don't want the white kids getting all sunburn on me and shit, right? Right, Irish people? You gotta mix up the colors if you can, and I can, so I did. Plus, biracial kids are usually good looking, right? You see it all the time. You walk down the street, you see like a white dude and an Asian woman. They're both ugly as shit and they have these beautiful little kids. You're like, oh my God, they saved their son's life. <laughs> By Crosby and their ugliness, they created like a little miracle, you know? It's like multiplying negative numbers. Somehow it becomes, <laughs> somehow it becomes positive. Positive. Plus, I want to raise my kids Latino because I see white mothers at the mall and they're all politically correct with their kids. I don't think it works. They're like, Jason, I'm going to count to 10, then you're going to get it. Hour later, it's like 134, 135. Come on, Jason. Lat women, black women are like one, bam. <laughs> right? Surprise attack, right? You keep your kid in line that way. I'll fucking hit my kids. People are like, you can't, they'll take them away. I'm like, good, I'll go on vacation. I need a break from these goddamn kids all the time. Anyway, so a lot of shit's been going on in the news. Did you hear about that tiger that ate that guy in San Francisco? That's a good story, right? He said he was taunting the tiger. How do you taunt the tiger? Be like, hey, what's your name, Tony? How you doing? Great. Tiger's like, this motherfucker's taunting me. I do believe. I do believe. How about that steroids? Anyone taking steroids? <laughs> First of all. First of all, people say steroids are bad. I say, they, I say they work, right? Barry Bonds hit the home run record. He was on steroids. The guy went to Tour de France last year. He was on steroids. I like to see other people take steroids, help their job performance. Attention passengers, is your captain speaking to flight to Los Angeles five hours. This is some of the juice is going to be three. <laughs> if there's any terrorists on board, come on in front. I'm going to fuck you up. I'm going to fuck you up, Habibi. <laughs> Enjoy the movie, except for you, Habibi. Any Arabs here before I make more jokes? Cause I'm, <laughs> are they for real? No, because we could, we, in, a, in, a, in Manhattan, you still got to deal with the, like the 9-11 shit. Because like, if you go in the, city, uh, in the New York City subway with a backpack, the cops can just grab you whenever they want. And they did. I was in a hurry. I was going to do a comedy show. The cop grabs me. I go, I look like a terrorist. He goes, we got to randomly select people. I'm like, randomly select Arabs. <laughs> They're doing all the shizzle. Cops like, sir, that's racist. I'm like, it's okay, I'm racist. <laughs> I'll take the heat for this one, O'Malley. <laughs> that joke is right on the end. I'm not really racist, though, right? You guys all know that, right? Just for the joke. <laughs> Everyone's a little racist, though, right, sir? You know what I'm talking about, right, sir? Are you pregnant, too? You're just fucking fat. Holy shit. Oh, you got a sun belly. Look at that. Well, you're like seven months, too. Anyway, are you a little, everyone's a little racist. People think they're not racist. If you think you're not racist, buy a house. Because you buy a house, you don't want anyone living near you. Plus, my wife's Panamanian, so she could pass for black or Puerto Rican. Basically, what white people don't want next door. 
I'm just saying, so we moved in, we got a lot of dirty looks from the neighbors. I finally just had to confront them. I'm like, listen, she's my housekeeper. What's the big deal here? Seriously. 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 That is fucked up. I'm gonna go to confession for that joke. <laughs>